Moo! Welcome everybody. And this is Link's Awakening, part number 30. In the last part, we entered Dungeon 8, and we came out this door, got a piece of a heart there, completed another heart container, found the final warp of the game, which we don't really need, and over here is another entrance back into the dungeon. Level 8, Turtle Rock. Now, if you remember in the last part, the owl actually told us to defeat the enemy from above. Well, we're definitely above now. There we go. Whoops, that's no good. And I suck at this, so this is not gonna be. This is not gonna be easy, because I really suck. Oh my god. All you gotta do is try to throw it into their mouths. There we go. That's a win. That's a win. Can we get another one? Oh, that's a big time win right there. Nope. Come on, get, get stuck in a corner again so you can help me out here, buddy. There we go. There we oh, no! No, I thought you were going to get stuck in a corner. There we go. Come on, oh, eat it! Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. No! You suck. You suck some more. Come on, just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. There we go. Eat it. Nice. And that's why you have to defeat it from above, because the chest appears up here. You got a small key, now you can open a locked door. Really? Keys open locked doors? I would never have known that. Thanks for telling me, oh kind sir. Back this way we want to come now. Oh no no no, I'm in the lava. So is the gel. The gel's also in the lava. Skip this room for now. Well, I guess we could pick up some arrows now that we've been using the bow much. There we go. And that's the door where we left. Let's get our boomerang on because this thing's gonna be hard to kill otherwise. Oh boy! There we go. We want this door open. So we can climb up and go across. And use our hookshot to get a treasure chest. Oh, it's only money. Dull money sucks. Money's useless. At least at this point it is. And there is a key in here. We'll come back to it in just a moment. This puzzle should not be difficult to solve. Take the head. Oh, I shouldn't have pushed it that way. I shouldn't have pushed it that way. But it's okay if you fall down the hole. Mm-hmm. Glitches your back to the door. There's a little tip there for you. You know what? These things are gonna bother me. They really are. So let's just do that and get our fairy going, too. Boom. Look at this weird passageway here. But anyway, it's the first thing you kinda wanna do, though. Get your bombs out. Whoa, no, 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 no. Kinda put a bomb. No. Right on the edge. Really? Alright, fine. Alright, fine. Be that way. Let's see if this is gonna work. It's gonna. Come on. It's not gonna explode in my hand, is it? Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Fine. We'll do it. The bow and arrow thing first. Because apparently the bomb thing's not being nice to me. That's all you gotta do, and you get a key. Let's talk to the owl, maybe he'll give me a clue. If the statue looks true. oh no no no, okay, that's, that's not what we were trying to do here. Anyways, let's try to get, no. There we go, come on. No, really? Come on, dude. If you leave it right on the edge, it's supposed to be enough, and it's not. It's not enough. This is sucking huge. Will this push? No. No, none of these work. Oh, this is upsetting me. Well, there is items in here, which is always nice. It's very nice, yes. Yes, it's very nice. 
this is upsetting me. I will, I will, I will, I will tell you that. I will, I will, I will. I'm extremely upset. I'm disheartened by this. Let's see, they're supposed to be right here. You gotta, you gotta put your bomb down. If only it would explode my hand like other games. But no, of course not. Why would it do that? That would just be way too easy. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I can jump with it, maybe? Nope. That's not gonna work either. Oh, you Dumbledorf. I know what I could do. Duh. How about the bomb arrow trick? No. I said. Bomb arrow trick. There we go. I knew there was a door there. <laughs> yes. And I got to show off the bomb arrows. Oh, that was nice. Yes, bomb arrows. Very nice. Very nice. But, yeah, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. I know you're supposed to just... Or maybe that is how you're supposed to do it. But, uh, uh, in the past, if you left it on the edge, the explosion would reach the middle. But, whatever. That opens that door, but you don't want to. You want to... Actually, you want to open this block. How many keys do we got? We got three keys now. Nice. So that opens there. Which brings us up to here. Hopefully you guys... I can see in the dark. Hopefully you guys can too. If you hookshot across... There's another locked up block. Open that one. And down the stairs we go. Oh boy. I'm going to have fun with this one. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Not. Oh, we actually did that without too much trouble. Whoops. Not. Oh, look at this. We're actually doing... That wasn't too much trouble now at all. And... Fuck! That's supposed to be down. I hit the switch, man. I hit the switch. You know I hit the switch. You saw me hit the switch. Oh, this is bullshit. I hit the switch in the last episode. I'm cutting to it right now. Here it is. Here's me hitting the switch in the last episode. And there's a crystal ball here. And I know we haven't seen any crystal switches yet. But we will hit it once. That's all you gotta do. Just hit it once. There you go. You saw it. You saw it. I saw it. We all saw it. I hit the frickin' switch. Oh, it's not supposed to be like that. So yet again, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna have to go all the way back to that freaking switch. And then get all the way back here. Oh my god, it's gonna be such a journey. And you don't need to see it. So, yeah. I'll be right back. And the next time you see me, those things are gonna be down. Moo! Moo! Okay, we're back. And as you can see, the switch is down. I know I hit the switch. I hit the switch. That's what I've been saying my whole journey. I've been just talking to myself, going, I hit the switch, I hit the switch, I know I hit the switch. I am sure I hit the switch. Anyways, it's time for an extremely frustrating mini boss. Whoops, and I do have my feather ready. Don't let him punch you. He's a boxer. He's a boxer. Oh my god, don't let him, don't let him punch you, okay? If he punches you, you are not going to be happy. Oh, crap. Okay, just keep jumping. He, especially a big punch like that. That's going to be a big piss off. There we go. Because he will send you out of the dungeon. Yes, out of the dungeon. That's how big... Wow, look at that! Ooh. I didn't think I was going to get him that... That good. Wow. But yeah, one punch. If he punches you one time, he'll punch you right out of the dungeon. And this just takes you back to the beginning. We all know that. Everybody knows it. So let's go claim our reward now. What do we get as a reward? You got the magic rod. Hey, I always have a magic rod. That's what the ladies say. 
<laughs> you can burn things. Burn it. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, trust me, they always go, Oh, you're on fire, cows! You're on fire! <laughs> oh, there's no way out of here, I think. Oh, I guess you could push the box, but I don't want to push the box. I want to go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Ignore you. And back to the main hub area again. Yes, this time we want to go like this. Push it. Very simple. That's what we want to do this time. Up the stairs and down the stairs. Magical odd time. It shoots fire. Now this is sort of a fire-like puzzle. Well, at least not here. Oh, the Goombas burn. Oh, the humanity. But anyways, you don't want to shoot that bottom row out. Because if you shoot that bottom row out, you're not going to be able to jump up, right? So you got to jump, jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. Oh my god, we do have a key, don't we? Oh, we have one left. Thank god. Whew. That would have been scary. Open this door. What do we got? Oh my god. Oh my god, my sword! My sword! Okay. Do you want? My feather would have helped too. Didn't need the magic rod. Come on. No! Damn it. Come on. There we go. I don't mind taking a few hits. As long as he goes down, you know? I'm not a perfectionist or anything. By far, we all know I'm not the greatest player of all time. And this is a damn hard puzzle. This one could take a while. Yeah, you gotta fill in the whole room. So, and if it bumps into anything, it stops. So how I'm gonna figure this out, I don't know. But hopefully we're gonna figure it out. Otherwise I'm in trouble. So here we go, attempt number one. Whoops, I said attempt one. Okay. No. Oh, this is bad. That's failure number one. But I think I was on to the right idea. Okay. And down. Left. And up. And left. And down. No! I don't even know if that would have worked. It might have worked. Alright, up, right, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, left, down, in, out, up, down, and there we go, that's gonna be great success, yes! And we get, you got the nightmare key, got that right, now we can whistle, I said whistle a happy tune, back to the beginning just cause it's honestly the fastest way out of here don't touch the middle you don't want that you don't want any part of that now that we got the magic rod we can now go like this and same thing again just let it happen just let it slide across this time, we can take these stairs, you know what, we're gonna get the heart just for fun. These stairs are right here. And we got another fire puzzle. How the hell am I gonna solve this one? Let's see now. Yeah, I'm aware how cold it is. Jump. Let's shoot through here. Let's shoot down. Let's shoot across. Shoot up. Let's kill the Goomba. There we go. Right? Right? Or wrong? Can I, can I, can I boot this? Maybe? <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to be done. Oh, wow, I actually made that. That's crazy. I, I don't even think that's how you're supposed to solve that puzzle. But wow, what we were. Okay, how do we do this one now? Hmm. 
Hmm. This does not look good. How the hell do I solve this puzzle? How the hell do I solve this puzzle? Can I make that jump with the boot? If I boot and jump again? Or, oh, maybe, maybe. That's how. There it is. There we go. That's not so bad. And now we get to face the nightmare. Wow. This episode might be really long or really short because I know I have a lot to edit out. But, uh, wow. Yeah, that was, that was not a lot of fun. So anyways, what we want to do, is I don't know why, but the magic rod will actually work on this next enemy. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but yet, it's going to work. Okay? Crackle! Fawoosh! You're finished. I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens. Yeah, it's Hothead from Mario 2. Okay, and for some reason, I'm not doing a very good job of hitting him. Wow. Okay, that time I wasn't even facing him. There we go, there's one. There's a hit. There we go. Okay, keep... Oh, wow, I didn't know I could get multiple hits in like that. He will bounce around the room. And yes, fire from your fire rod will destroy fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow, oh, wow, wow, he's crackled apart. We're getting to him, we're getting to him. We're almost there. Hey, hey, don't push me in the lava. Crackle! Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you, too, are in the dream. Nice. Get a heart, fill it up, jump over the gap. Oh, my heart's still filling. And pick up. What the hell is that? You got the thunder drum. Thunder, thunder, thunder drum. Ho! That's some good beats right there. Egg. The egg on the mountain calls. Yes, yes it does. The egg on the mountain does call. Comes a calling for a nice omelet, doesn't it? And we're gonna go make that omelet in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I'm Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!